we're going to be making some questions and you can comment on them as well. So. Car Wars is an activity created by the Engage Science team, which was used in English sport for the students to investigate if electric cars is a good option for the smart cities. Uh, my dad has an electric car and I want to know more uh, about them. And, and we are going to be interviewing some more people about what they like about electric cars. on just on pure charged up electricity alone. So what's this car then? This car is a Nissan Leaf, which is a purely electric vehicle. It doesn't have a hybrid petrol engine in it at all. So it has a limited range of about 100, about 100 miles. It makes you think about what the advantages and disadvantages are of buying an electric car and is it good for like, is it good for the environment, is it not, how much would it cost, so it's definitely worth buying and it makes you think about it a lot. So I think that electric cars are better than polluting, um, they're better than like other petrol cars because they do less, less pollution. Urban Inquiries is a project for helping students create scientific questions. It provides learners and educators with resources and the technologies for them to develop inquiry skills and the science knowledge. Questioning is an important skill for learning. The more knowledge students have, better questions they can create. And with good questions, they can build more knowledge. On Reef Watch, we are talking about microclimate. In our school, to save more energy, we could have solar panels on roofs such as that one. Oh, yeah. Going to take pictures where the microclimate design or solar panels can be placed where there's sunny areas. In Wispot, I have created some activities to help students develop their own research questions in relation to microclimate design and energy efficiency around their school area. The question is, at night when it gets dark, will we still have electricity? From the um, solar data, the students could discover that the solar panels were generally uh, creating energy during the daytime and not when people were at home using electricity. I thought it was interesting because there is so much different, different ways to answer. You will find out more information about solar panels. It is in innovative in because not many people know the answer. Students are currently uploading different types of pictures on Enquiry, existing pictures from the web, and sometimes their own pictures that they have created by themselves. We have the, our biggest, the biggest machine is right there. That machine can burn over a thousand watts in just one cup. So one of the interesting questions that was raised by a student was whether or not there should be a limit on the amount of energy that people could consume in a day. So this was sparked by the activities that they were doing around home energy consumption. What was interesting was that the students then started to think about when energy was being consumed in the school and where it was being used. In terms of the MK Smart project, to get the students thinking about their own environments and their own daily activities and how these related to energy consumption. This is the sharp, uh, you saw the blade over there, the powerful blade over there just now. This is the one they use to sharpen it. Okay. And that can burn a few thousand years just in one spin cycle. In the future, do you think electricity should be free given reason why? It wouldn't be free because probably it might the prices will go higher because there are plenty of people coming in the city and they need houses and they need electricity so probably they might need to pay for it instead of just getting it free.
The challenge now is for the students to um, collect all of the various bits of information that they've collected within the WeSpot tool and use it to create a coherent narrative output. This project that we have started a few weeks ago has, um, I think that's really inspired the students to uh, create more um, questions in science, uh, something that has engaged them and motivated them to learn. Uh, they've been making questions using data and from pictures. Most um, of the learning that we do in science is on, um, is on using um, uh, co concepts, learning is based on concept. This has really um, inspired them um, to learn how to create interesting questions, something that has been important in science and um, I think this, this has really worked with the students and it's uh, more sort of visual learners and students who are more hands on um, rather than you know, just teaching concept in classrooms. There were some benefits to using the technology, for example the students were writing down their thoughts as they were conducting the inquiries. This meant that they could revisit them but also that other people could see what they were thinking. Go back and create stories about the tasks and to understand exactly um, the history of how they arrived at their thinking. But there were barriers to using the technologies as well, so for example um, Sometimes the internet connection wasn't very good or they got distracted and didn't fully focus when they were in front of the computers. We got around this to some extent by providing some of the activities on paper and then steering them towards the technology as and when it was needed.